Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Jeff here again, still working our Kesa Gatami uh, submission holds. If you recall from our last couple videos, we were dealing with some things where I was moving his arm across. Gonna move into uh, some additional things in that same direction where we're gonna get into a gift wrap. Today we're gonna specifically work on the gift wrap choke, which is a fun little nasty choke that you can catch, not just from this position, but from pretty much any position that you can catch a gift wrap from. Can come on from case katami from mount from guard from a lot of different positions uh, it can hurt really bad it can choke really well it's just a nice little fun move that actually bears a lot of resemblance in terms of the finishing mechanics to several gi chokes so we do this with no gi no uh, no pajamas required so uh, stay tuned this is one of my favorite moves so i hope you like it so we're back in our case katami position getting our good case katami 12 o'clock leg nine o'clock leg and I'm all set up. So the last couple of submissions I mainly set up from starting with my shallowest lock and then the mirror would extend and then I would come in and push the arm across. That's certainly one way to get there, but another way to get there, uh, as we've said before, is if the mirror's taking this trapped arm and he's pushing back on my head. This is an excellent setup if you're trying to do the leg over the head escape that is my personal favorite way to get out of case of Katami if I'm in Demir's position. But either way, I really just don't want Demir or anybody else pushing my head back. That's just not enjoyable for me. It makes it difficult for me to hold the position and I'm certainly not going to get any submissions on this arm. On this arm. On this arm. Sorry bro, when he's pushing back on my head like that. So I'm gonna need to get this out of the way. So my other way of getting this is once he starts pushing on my chin, if he's got his arm up against my chest right now, especially if we do wear, if you do wear a gi when you do this, it's going to create a lot of friction if I just try to push this when it's up against my chest. So to take the friction away, I'm actually going to back my chest up just a little bit. I'm going to make my hand into a C-clamp and I'm going right here just below his elbow and I'm just going to pop across. So he pushes back, slide, and push. So I can go into, just like we did in our last video, an arm triangle from this position. But today, where I'm gonna go is gift wrap. So the gift wrap position is wrapping around the head, grabbing, where I wanna grab is not necessarily the wrist. I usually grab this part of his hand right here. So just below the pinky knuckle and above the wrist, that's where I wanna grab. But I also wanna be under Demir's head with this hand. I'm gonna grab right here. Now, there's a whole lot of really fun submissions from the gift wrap position. There's lots of cool stuff that I can do. If I catch it from here, I've already got this arm kind of around his head. I've usually extracted it at least a little bit by now. Uh, you know, this could come on when Demir's already starting to turn away and I'm putting my weight down trying to keep him here. But I've extracted just a little bit. I go around, I grab my gift wrap and I hold. Now, the key to making this choke work, this gift wrap choke, is this hand is on this side right now. I need to move it over to the other side, which means that I need to have room inside this area where I've got Demir trapped to be able to move my hand around. So what I need to do here is rather than locking this gift wrap and then pulling this as tight as I possibly can, I actually need to leave space. So this is similar to those of you who train with a gi. If you're doing collar chokes, you know, they'll teach if you grab really tight and then pull down taut and then try to stick your other hand up in there, you're not gonna have enough room. So you leave some slack and then you can get your hand up high enough and then you take all the slack away. It's very similar to that. I wanna leave slack on my gift wrap so I have room to move my hand out and then I'm moving it over to the other side of Demir's neck. Why don't you move the camera in so we can see this. So when this hand slides up here, let's get a close up on this. This hand is gonna slide up here. And where I'm actually trying to bring this hand to rest is right here with my thumb resting on the inside of his deltoid. And I'm gonna make a fist. That positioning is really important because in just a minute, I'm gonna squeeze this very similarly to an Ezekiel choke where I'm going to pull hard on the hand that I've got the gift wrap, and then this hand is going to extend. What is going to give me extra power on that is if I have my hand inside 
in between his shoulder and his neck. That way when I start pulling on the gift wrap hand, it's gonna make this go tight and then his shoulder is gonna help to push my fist into his neck. If I'm too low on this, then when I start squeezing this, you can see my fist is gonna pop out on the other side. A, I'm not gonna be in proper position to finish the choke. B, the fact that it slipped out means the only thing that I've got pushing it in is just my arm power, and my arm strength. Maybe against a guy who's not very good, that's gonna be okay to finish it. Most people who are any good, they're not gonna to tap to that. So I gotta make sure that I lay this with my thumb inside the shoulder and then resting on the side of his neck. So I pushed him across from my Casey Katami position, go under the head, grab here, leave slack, extract, and then weave in here and make a fist. Now, once I get to this position, I've got my hand in place. I'm gonna take the knuckles of my fist, I'm gonna drive them into his neck, and I'm gonna squeeze, okay? That's the gift wrap joke. So there's two ways that I can finish it. One is with a fist. One is actually right here with the very, very bottom of my palm. So turn the side to me. <laughs> So my fist, when it comes to rest here, the knuckles of my fist are actually right up against the vagus nerve in the side of his neck. Which if you watched our arm triangle video where you get rolled and then there's the neck crank that goes into the vagus nerve and it causes a lot of pain. That's kind of where the knuckles on my fist hit. I can still get a choke on this if I use my fist, but it's not gonna be really good full on carotid choke. What I really want for that is to drive the back of my palm down in there. It's not gonna hurt as bad as it would with a fist, but it's gonna really do a good job of closing that carotid off. So when I squeeze this, I'm either gonna use the fist, or if that's not working, I can slam my palm in there and push on the carotid. And if it's in the right spot, that shoulder will close up around it and I'll push it right in, still get the finish. So I'm here, gift wrap, grab, extract, weave, fist, or palm either way and I finish the gift wrap choke. So just about any position I can catch a gift wrap from I'll be able to get this. I can get it from mount, leave space, weave in. Okay. I can also get it from guard. Okay. So I set gift wrap up from guard every now and then. Just, well, this isn't a guard video, but if I set it, set it up here, I can go here, weave in, finish the exact same choke. So pretty much anywhere that you can catch a gift wrap from, you can catch that choke from. It works well from Casey Gatami when I push the arm across because the arm tends to be dangling right there. I can just reach out, grab the arm, go to gift wrap. It's a nice little transition. And then there's a bunch of submissions available there of which the gift wrap choke is one of my favorites. So. Uh, if you like that move, make sure you hit the like button. It helps me to share the love, share the videos with everybody. They see it more when people are interacting with my videos. And if you like what we're doing here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to that so you can turn on notifications. You'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.